Hey guys, I'm back with another Star Wars Shatterpoint painting tutorial. I know, three painting tutorials in two weeks? What on earth is going on? Well, I'm buzzing and excited for the Rebel Alliance stuff, and today I promised I would bring you the second half of the most dynamic droid duo seen across every Star Wars film. That's right, C-3PO. Longtime friend of our feisty little hero, R2-D2, 3PO was constructed by the eventual Darth Vader and has seen about as much action as R2 during the Clone Wars and Galactic Civil War even though he's much more reluctant to throw himself into the thick of things and only occasionally naked. My parts are showing. Despite his constant worrying and berating of little R2, 3PO was a key figure in the galactic conflicts and every bit the hero that R2 and all of his friends have been. Hi, I'm Tom from Planet Mithril and welcome to my How to Paint C-3PO Painting Tutorial. Now, as you'll be able to see from my video, I did the semi-stupid thing and assembled my 3PO and R2 to the same base, as well as getting a little bit too excited and painting my R2-D2 uh, before tackling 3PO. You can achieve the exact same awesome results for your R2 by following Wednesday's painting tutorial, which was my how to paint R2-D2. But for the ease of convenience, you might not want to glue them both to the same base before you tackle this model. I'm going to be using a slightly unorthodox way to paint my 3PO. I really want to capture that slightly off gold, almost greeny, really dull, beaten look that he has to his casing from where my 3PO is going to be set. To achieve this look, I'm going to be working from a silver undercoat and allowing washes and glazes with minimal edge highlighting to do the majority of the work for me. This, when combined with the spot colour details of the cabling and eyes, is all that's needed to bring this droid to life on the tabletop. Once assembled, my C3PO was worked up from a grey undercoat of Mechanica Standard Grey and I'll be focusing mainly on a mix of scale colour paints and scissor washes to finish my droid off. He may be fluent in six million forms of communication, but I certainly am not. So that's enough jabbering on from me. Brushes ready guys, and let's get painting. So as I said earlier, I'm gonna be building up my gold tones of 3PO, working off a very solid silver base coat rather than a base level gold. So to start off with, I want to apply a really thorough base coat to the whole of C-3PO using thrash metal. Now I'm using a mid-tone silver here as it will cover more consistently and means that the shades will tone down the beaten metals more authentically when I reach that stage. As you can see, I'm making sure I get this undercoat absolutely everywhere between every bit of plating, every screw, rivet and groove to get as smooth and consistent a finish as I possibly can. Don't worry about painting over the midsection details here either at this stage. With my shiny silver base coat in place, I'm going to now be applying a fairly heavy dry brush now to get some guideline highlights in place ready for the wash stage. I'm going to be applying a fairly liberal dry brush over the entirety of 3PS casing using speed metal. This is a super bright metal so it will go over really nicely over the thrash metal. Applying this here means that when our washes are applied there will be a natural highlight that the shades will pick up on and provide a quick and easy blend from the darker golds through to the lighter golds. Also, if like I have, you've already assembled and painted R2, be very careful not to hit him with the dry brush. Try not to do a me here. Okay, so now I've got my base coat and underlying highlights in place, it's time to watch magic happen right before your eyes. This is so exciting. I'm gonna be using Citadel Seraphim CPU here and applying this as a shade over the whole model. Now I aired on the side of caution somewhat here and did slightly dilute my wash. This just serves to make it easier to move around the model but you'll probably have to apply a few coats to get the correct tone. The most important thing here is trying to avoid the shade pooling anywhere over the larger, flatter metal surfaces. As each coat dries, you can see the tone for 3PO's gold body is becoming stronger and stronger. This is what the model will look like after three coats over with Sarah from CPO. Look at that beautiful tone that I now have for my 3PO. It's like, just like R2, he's leapt from the screen to the tabletop. Now it's just a case of adding a few extra details and a few extra edge highlights and believe it or not, that's C-3PO done. After making sure all my washes are dry, it's time to apply an edge highlight around all the plate work using Peridot Alchemy. This will brighten the tone of the metals without being too warm and just reinforce that slightly more aged and worn look. As you can see, I'm keeping a tight, fine point to my brush and just trying to pick up the edges and curves of all the plate work allowing my wash stage to show through loud and proud, doing 90% of the work for my droid.
This last stage is optional, but I thought gave him just a little bit of extra zing. I applied a second edge highlight, this time tighter, thinner, and more controlled using Citrine Alchemy. This is a super bright paint, so try not to go too mad here with this one. You'll be looking at just picking out the most raised edges, upper curves and rounder edges of the torso, head and arms, and carefully picking out any exposed rivets, bolts and corners where the light will be glinting off more. Now there isn't really too much more to do to 3 here, just a few little extra details just to break up the monotony of all the gold and we're pretty much done. To start off with, I'm carefully picking out the gap between the chest and pelvic plating using black, being very careful here not to bleed out over onto the finished golds. Now, using Blood Red, I'm going to very carefully start picking out some of the sculpted cabling in this gap. To break it up a bit more, I'm alternating cable colours with a blue in a minute, so here you can see I'm leaving a black cable between each red one, keeping a super fine tip to the end of my brush for the most accurate application possible. Now the cables I left black, I'm going to be going back over now and picking out, but this time using Mediterranean Blue. These colours are super rich in tone, which will really, really pop against the dull, beaten metals. Beautiful. Again, you can leave the cabling like this if you really wanted to, but I wanted to make them pop slightly more. I did this by carefully applying an edge highlight to the more protruding parts of the red cables using Antara's Red. Doing the exact same thing with the blue cabling now, but this time using sky blue. As you can see, it just helps them pop that little bit more against all the more muted tones. I honestly think this tutorial might be in the running for quickest mithril painting tutorial on the channel so far because we're nearly done. The final stage was to very carefully pick out the eye recesses using Tiamat Orange, a nice bright orange to sit in against the dull muted golds. A quick dot highlight was applied to the eye holes now using Lilith Yellow. And would you believe that? You're done now. I am C-3PO, Human Cyborg Relations. I am fluent in over 6 million forms of communication. <coughs> <coughs> well, that's that impression now over, isn't it? What isn't over, though, is the buzz you should have after finishing such a characteristic, beautifully painted pair of droids. The tones of one another really stand out against each other and bring the pair of them to life on the tabletop, and using my new minimal stress, maximum results method too. For basing help, please make sure you check out my Star Wars Shatterpoint basing tutorial elsewhere on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That's the pair of droids now done and we're moving on to other Shatterpoint models going forward. Please make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of video uploads. And until next time guys, take care and happy hobbying. Bye guys.